78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Y'all smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. Just finished my morning walk around the park. It's looking beautiful. Autumn, so you know how lovely it's going to look out here today. <coughs> but I did want to talk about Vince McMahon. Um, shout out to Pierce Morgan for finally uh, applying some pressure to Vince McMahon's situation. Um, Pierce Morgan has been going viral lately uh, talking about the Diddy situation, you know, doing these interviews and panels with people talking about P. Diddy. And um, it would appear he's not giving the same energy towards other heinous situations like Vince McMahon. Now, he did do have a panel yesterday that I saw. Shout out to my brother Ticket TV. I saw Ticket's video on this. And I went and watched Pierce Morgan's joint. <clears throat> now, for those who don't know and don't probably don't care, Vince McMahon of the WWE, uh, this billionaire mogul, um, has been accused by several women, and I mean several women, of abusing them, assaulting them, um, graping them, all kinds of misconduct by Vince McMahon, okay? Uh, he has non-disclosure agreements with many of those women. However, those women are trying to break those non-disclosure agreements because, you know, he broke the law in these uh, situations. And now there's another woman that's suing him, alleging that Vince McMahon uh, and his homeboy held her down and squatted in their face. <laughs> I don't know what's up with these dudes and that nasty stuff like that, man. But uh, allegedly, you know, uh, gave her some scat treatment. You know, that's what they say. That's what she said they did. I don't see why she would lie. That's a horrible thing to, to, to have to admit to anybody that somebody did to you. That's like the worst type of violation. But she says that's what they did, okay? This man is trying to keep it quiet. And uh, he got a lot more money than Puffy, so I don't know why this Diddy situation has captivated the, the hearts and minds of people. Especially when there's so many lies being told about the Diddy situation. That's not true. Unverified stories. People want to believe any rumor or, or gossip about Diddy. They want to sensationalize it. <clears throat> what Diddy has been accused of is enough by the feds. Okay? You don't have to make up all this other stuff. But what the Diddy situation is showing people is that when it rains, it pours. Okay? If it look like you from the fall, it ain't gonna be too many people trying to grab your hand and pick you back up. Most people are gonna kick you while you're down. They're gonna jump on the bad wagon, act like they was never rocking with you. Unfortunately, that's what people do. If they can see something at the pot, a pot of gold in the rainbow for themselves, uh, you know, it, it's like this. You got a store. Forget a store. We, we, we can talk about a house. A house in your in your block in the community, okay? You know these people, lovely, lovely family. Um, daddy in the house, they married. Mom and daddy got four beautiful children, right? Something happening, following hard times, they get evicted. They get evicted and uh, the sheriffs come over, take all these people's stuff and put it out on the front lawn, okay? Now, the family don't have enough room in their car to take all this stuff with them. So, you know, they take what they can, the most important things, and they're gonna come back with a U-Haul, get the rest. By the time they get back, the same neighbors, the same neighbors that were uh, saying hi to them and speaking to them every morning, those same neighbors are gonna be over there stealing uh, they, they, they stuff. You know what I mean? Because, oh, it's over for them. It's over. That's everybody's favorite term, it's over. You know what I'm saying? These people need to put their dog on the leash before I kick them in the jaw. Look at this here. Bucky, 
See, that's what happened. That was some black folks walking around here with their dogs on the leash, off the leash. Somebody been called the police. But anyway, um, the, the, what, what bothers me the most about the Diddy situation, as I was explaining, was that you can have people are going to come and steal from you. People are going to they see the empire falling, so everybody wants a piece of it. Now you have all these people just coming out saying stuff. There's, there's no way of verifying it. This is people just saying anything. Oh yeah, one lady now she talking about Diddy got mad at her about some Tupac stuff. And did he assault her? Like, people just saying anything, bro. They saying anything. It's just the scary part about being a celebrity, about having some money. It's like, everybody want a piece of you. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to fall, everybody want a piece of that that, 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 that that fall. Break me off, too. One girl I got caught lying, you know? One girl I got caught lying. She tried to pay her, tell her boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend, she'd give him $3 million if he concoct, her, if he, uh, concoct this story with her. He snitched on her like he's supposed to. Shout out to the brother for standing on business and not selling out for three million because a whole lot of people selling out for a couple thousand on YouTube. But shout out to that brother for holding it down. You see what I'm saying? But it ain't just her, it's a lot of them. It's a lot of people just, just looking for, and a lot of this stuff comes from these rumors that Diddy let fester for years. He let these little rumors about him being zesty fester for years. Even though being zesty is not technically a crime, uh, in our community, black people tend to be so fascinated by zest and who's zesty, who's not zesty, and what people are doing in the privacy of their home. Black people are very fascinated by that in a weird way. But because Diddy has said some weird things and he let those rumors about him being zesty fester, left the door open for people to make these weird accusations about him. And when he don't come out and defend himself, you try to ignore him. I know lawyers and stuff tell you to ignore that stuff. Don't say nothing. Just ignore it. Ignore it. But you can't do that when the internet now has a mind of its own. The internet is just like a snowball effect now. If you don't say something to defend yourself right away, it's people going to, the way people think now, it must be true. See what I'm saying? So that's the problem. That's why I'm glad Jay-Z and Beyonce came out and put that cease and desist on uh, Pierce Morgan. But now, and some people say, oh, why he didn't do it to Jaguar Wright? Because Jaguar Wright don't have no money. Jaguar Wright is in and out of hotels, motels, living. She's a 304. I know all about her, okay? She out here talking about trafficking and all this. Jaguar Wright still sell her thing. Still selling it. In and out of hotels. Those who know, know. And she'll do something strange for a little piece of chain. And she ain't gonna lie to you about it. So I don't know why people even listening to this shit. This is ridiculous. But anyway. So. It's, it's so many lies coming out. People saying that uh, uh, Diddy had, uh, like Gene Deal, this, this hypocrite, this pathetic excuse for a man, Gene Deal, who was around Diddy for all these years, allegedly witnessing Diddy hit his mama. Allegedly witnessing, witnessing Diddy abuse all these people, allegedly witnessing Diddy, uh, do all this nasty stuff. Meanwhile, you still with him. Why? For a paycheck. You still with him for a paycheck. You was with Diddy up until he fired you. And now you got all these memories. Now you the, the number one whistleblower, supposedly. Nah, I think you just want to be on TV. Then you out here talking about, uh, Gene Deal say that uh, Diddy, when he got, when they, when they found a thousand bottles of baby oil, Gene Deal spread the rumor. Well, to my knowledge, he was the first person I heard him say, say this rumor about they need to check the baby oil. It might be liquid ecstasy. It might be uh, some type of drug inside of the, the baby oil. That that rumor spread like wildfire. Right? Police, the, the, the government that had this baby oil, ain't nothing in the baby oil. But you think that's going to help? It don't matter. The internet and these rumors have a mind of their own, bro. People just want something to talk about, something juicy, something gossipy. And, and the United States government here is, this is like COINTELPRO. This is like COINTELPRO. This is what J. Edgar Hoover and them used to do to 
spy on different black organizations. And I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to equate Diddy with brothers like Malcolm or Martin Luther King Jr. But it's the same thing in this sense. Uh, the government will slander them once they, once they, uh, what's the right? Can I use this word on YouTube? Farrakhan is famous for saying. They said, why, why, why haven't they got rid of Farrakhan yet? Why, why? They get rid of all our leaders. Why? Farrakhan said, because if they can destroy your image to your people publicly by labeling you something, there's no need to destroy you physically. Because now your power has been, been usurped. They're taking your power from you. They turn your own against you. So what they've done, the United States government with Diddy, Okay, and like I said, I'm not comparing him to, the, to these brothers on a uh, righteous sense, right? I'm just telling you technique-wise what the government has done. What they've done is, from day one, Cassie, uh, uh, everybody know PD and Cassie had a nasty relationship, uh, uh, a pimp and hoe relationship. That's what they did. Uh, a freak nasty relationship. So now, when Cassie was suing Diddy and Diddy agreed to pay her 30 something million, that got the interest of the United States government, who apparently got nothing to do, right? So they start investigating and allegedly they brought her in for questioning. And allegedly Cassie told the people that he used to whoop on me, uh, he used to pimp me out, had me messing with this guy and that guy, and he would watch, he, he got videos of, all these famous politicians and stuff. And that sparked the interest of the federal government, allegedly, because they want to see what's on those tapes. If he has those tapes, how powerful is this guy? So from what I heard, they started watching him from that point, okay? And they, they started trying to set him up from that point, okay? That's what I heard. Now, the problem with that is the government started to leak truthful information and flat out lies to the uh, the media. The government tipped off, okay, you're talking about Homeland Security now, pulled up to Diddy's home simultaneously with tanks, even when they knew he wasn't at home. They knew exactly where he was because they'd been following him. They pulled up to his home with tanks, okay? And the news media was tipped off. Hey, we're gonna be raiding Diddy. This is all facts, I ain't making this up. The news media with choppers and everybody was there to witness Diddy's house get raided. Okay? Then, a tape of Cassie, of Diddy beating up Cassie, gets leaked to CNN, magically, of course. Then, weeks later, a tape of Diddy's son supposedly assaulting, allegedly assaulting some girl, some audio tape of uh, uh, him assaulting some girl or pressuring some girl to have relations with him on a on boat gets leaked to CNN. So you gotta ask yourself this question. I'm trying to tell y'all gotta stop being emotional and think logically. I know y'all don't like Diddy Fine. You don't gotta like him. But you gotta think uh, logically here. So now, why would a lady who's hired by Diddy, Diddy's team, to be a waitress, a bartender, I should say, on a yacht, on a party, why would she be wired? Why would she be wired for sound? Nobody's asking that question. You know why? Because everybody's so silly. They so fixated on, oh, Diddy, oh, they got him, his whole family. Nobody's asking, why would a, a woman who's hired to be a bartender be wired? Because the federal government have been watching Diddy for some, I believe, for, for years for months and years. They've been spying, trying to catch him doing something illegal, okay? And now they think they got something illegal on him. And I, like I say, it's just my belief. I got no proof of this. I believe they set him up with them guns. They're talking about them guns that's, uh, uh, the guns is unmarked. We got what, serial numbers is removed. I think that's a setup. This is my, I, I can't prove that. Diddy could have bought them that way, I don't know. But I just find it interesting that the man in Diddy's position who got enough money to buy legal weapons, uh, why he would have some 
assault rifles in his uh, in his house in his possession with the serial numbers filed off why would he have that unless somebody told him you know made him an offer he couldn't refuse oh man here i got this for you man i'm gonna plug you with these man i'm gonna give you for the player prize he's brand new too it is your ego getting away you buy that kind of stuff and you got sitting around your house bam they got you they got you that's just my theory on that like i said i got no proof of it but that's just my theory now as for vince mcmahon and uh garth brooks so you gotta mix it up you know what i'm saying we talk about Gar garth brooks and vince mcmahon you gotta mix it in into with the diddy stuff otherwise ain't nobody gonna watch the video because monkeys don't care about nothing but uh, talk crazy about black folk see if you say something about garth brooks don't nobody care say something about vince mcmahon don't nobody care so you gotta mix it in with a lot of diddy talk you know what I'm saying? Keep all the, the primates excited. You know what I'm saying? Throw them a few bananas, you dig? But, this man, if you notice, all these settlements he had, countless selling out, of, selling out of court with these women who've been accusing him of raping them and everything, not once did Homeland Security raid that man's house, not once did the FBI say, hey, this might be something here. Let's go check this out, guys. This guy could be a, a threat to society. Nothing. Nothing. But they did to Diddy. Okay? Even the way this Garth Brooks uh, case is being handled by the media, right? He's not being slandered. There's not tons of rumors coming out every other day about Garth Brooks. Just not. Right? This woman got text messages proving that Garth Brooks and her had a relationship. Garth Brooks then lied and said he didn't have no relationship with her. She lied on him. Now he's saying they did have a relationship, but it was consensual. See what I'm saying? See how that works? But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. 78 Sports TV. Salute to the mighty ODBC. Smash that like button. Share the video. I'm a fighter here, deuces.